Hi, I'm Kate and welcome to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, I was diagnosed with a rare disease called fringe ataxia in May of 2016 when I was 12. In the last video I posted, I talked a little bit more about my story and journey with the rare disease and my diagnosis story. Most people have never heard of fringe ataxia or FA because it is so rare, so today I'm going to tell you more about it. So FA is a rare and progressive disease. To break it down a little bit, FA only affects 15,000 people in the world, which is 1 in 50,000 people in the United States. So there's about 5,000 people in the US that have FA. So FA is also progressive, meaning that the symptoms get worse over time. So FA starts progressing from the moment of onset. FA affects almost every single part of my body except my cognitive ability. So my ability to think and reason is not affected at all. FA has a lot of different symptoms and it's important to note that not every single symptom affects every single person that has FA, but there are a few that are more common. So I'm going to read from those lists because I don't want to forget any but it is loss of balance and coordination, fatigue, slurred speech, hearing and vision loss, scoliosis, diabetes, and serious heart condition. So again, like I said, not everyone that has FA has every single one of these symptoms. For example, I don't experience any sort of vision loss and I don't have diabetes, but many people do. Also, it's important to remember that these symptoms are progressive, so they do get worse over time. And also, even if I don't experience a symptom now, it can pop up later. So, FA is actually genetic. So, both my parents carry the inactive gene, and because the gene is recessive, I still only had a 25% chance of getting an active version of the gene. Even though FA is so rare and only 15,000 people have it, 1 in 100 people carry their gene. So just a little disclaimer here, I'm not a scientist, I am a 19 year old business major. So I'm going to do the best I can here to explain. The FA gene DNA mutation causes the limited production of a protein called vertaxin. So think of your cell as like a machine. And so it reads your DNA in sets of three or trinucleotides. So my machine is reading my DNA, but it keeps getting stuck on a repeat of a trinucleotide called GAA. So basically that GAA repeat is what's causing the machine to not be able to produce enough rhodaxin. Rhodaxin is a protein in the mitochondria of the cell. So you might remember from biology in high school that the mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cells, so it produces all the energy your cell needs. Protaxin's job is to help form iron sulfur clusters in the mitochondria of your cell, and apparently iron sulfur clusters are very important. So because my body doesn't form enough protaxin because it keeps getting stuck on the trinucleotide, the iron sulfur clusters never form which causes the mitochondria of my cells to not work properly, which causes my cells to die. Currently, there's no FDA-approved treatment or cure for the symptoms of FA. Scientists are working really hard to every single day to find one though, and I really believe that they will find a treatment or cure soon. If you want to see the progress of some clinical trials and research going on, you can go look at the treatment pipeline on the Friedrich Stadaxia Research Alliance website. While I'm waiting for a cure or treatment, I try to keep my body active in order to slow down some of the progression. So that's it. I hope that you learned something today and that wasn't too confusing. I know it's really hard to follow. To learn more about FA, you can go to curefay.org and also find out some ways you can help on the mission to find a treatment and or cure. 
You can also follow me on Instagram at makeithappen.therapy to keep up with my journey with a fit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!